Okay, today's the big day. We got the Brooklyn Kayak finally in from Brooklyn Kayak Company. It, uh, it spent about six weeks in order to, to get this into me. There was a complaint um, about it as the delivery time, but uh, most of the reviews online were good except for the delivery time. And uh, you know, it wasn't bad. I initially when I ordered it, it said it would take, it would be uh, delivered in seven to 14 days and then it would go out. I got it um, about six weeks. So, but uh, so far I'm impressed. Um, the, the material seems to be nice and tough. The seat seems to be strong. Uh, I did stand in it and it does seem to be firm. Um, I did hear on these clips right here that uh, these are plastic and some guys are worried about these breaking, but uh, I may order some of those just to have on hand. I did order a backup propeller because I hear this you know, on any kayak, those break. Um, one thing I do like about this is the hull underneath. Um, it seems to have kind of the best of both worlds. It's got the pontoon style and it also has kind of the deep V haul. I guess the pontoon style is good for um, calm water and it's more stable in calm water, but yet it's got a, a V haul as well in the front and in the back for um, um, more rough water operations. And a lot of guys say it's kind of good in both. So excited about that. You can see the scupper holes uh, throughout. Um, I have heard there is some draining issues with it, but um, we'll have to find out. Um, I do have a cart that I ordered right here. Um, got the link below on this, but it's adjustable. It's actually reasonably priced. I was kind of looking at this earlier and the way to adjust this so it works is you kind of just put it through the top and find out where the holes are, where it just kind of goes right in and then just tighten it up. And then you've got the holes aligned. And then when you go underneath, it'll be, it'll be ready for you. It'll be going right into place. So let's just show how that works. <clears throat> You just got to find the holes there. And there we go. Took a little bit of doing, but there you go. That'll allow me to push this thing and uh, get it to the beach. Right here, obviously, is where the rudder is going to go. I just see a little bit of scuffs right there, obviously, from dragging it. Um, I guess that's just normal. Um, some people do complain about the rudder, and we'll get to this later. But uh, apparently, it does stick down below a little bit, and people have some problems on the ground. That's why I got this cart. Uh, pretty reasonably priced on Amazon. I got the link below. Um, I think it was like 65 bucks or something like that. But uh, so far, I like it. Um, we'll have to give you an update as we go. Okay, so I'm opening up the pedal drive here, and this is what this looks like. The pedal drive. Hey, here it is. Okay, so that's where the fin is. So, for our, oh, that's nice right here. So that actually latches. Hmm, that's nice. All right, I've got the fin here, and I'll have to figure out what uh, what this is. So that's good news. Okay, the pedal drive. The directions. I have to take a look at this and see what it says. Yeah, this is reasonably heavy. Well, this feels, uh, this is metal. This is not plastic. Um, I guess the parts on it are plastic, but this right here feels like metal. And these are plastic. Yeah, so this, this feels pretty quality. Just from the general feeling. All right. Pedal drive. 
does seem to work. Seems pretty sturdy on there. Both uh, forward and reverse. So that checks out good. On to the pins. This out, I've got the the drive in and everything looks good. I mean, it looks like I've got it as snug as I can get it. And this doesn't go in all the way. It looks like it just I need to either need to cut this, which I don't want to do, or or I'm doing something wrong. I mean it obviously goes on there. But there's that space there. I don't know. Maybe there's a space there, but that just doesn't seem seem right to me. It looks like it's going to need some some modification. I mean, there's no room here on this end, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to go. I'm the company did recommend these two items. One is a uh, UV. They're both UV for UV protection. This one's for fabric, and this one is for the plastic. So. Uh, I want to make sure to um, wash or, or apply this boat, this uh, solution to the whole boat that'll keep the plastic from fading and uh, a UV blocker that'll be good on these as well and uh, to keep them from getting brittle. This product right here is for the fabric. Uh, as the sun beats down on this, you put a UV block, this UV block on there and uh, it can repel the, uh, the UV rays just to make the make it last a lot longer. Okay, so no directions on this, but kind of a false alarm on how difficult it might have been. It's really not as difficult as I I thought. Um, you just kind of screw this into this circular thing. It's going to screw up through the bottom. And then the wires are already there. We can adjust that. And basically it's gonna be like this. And it's already kind of worked out for you. We'll either tuck these wires or clip them. I'll uh, try not to clip them just because. But uh, we'll install this. Well, I think the next step is to uh, get around the water. This does bug me right here. That does bug me. Maybe it'll settle in once I get it in the water or something, but uh, all in all, I'm really, it's a neat unit. As long as I can figure So I'm out, got her, on the, got her on the water. Everything from the initial cruise is going good, responds well, it's pretty fast. It does take some, uh, the steering takes some getting used to. It, uh, it's pretty simple, it's definitely something you can get used to. Um, but good speed, everything seems to be holding together good. Um, I like it. It's definitely a good workout. Need to get used to the steering. Definitely need to get used to the steering. So, 